All right. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's Brain Date Ambassador Workshop. ASB is so excited to be getting back to an in-person event um, for Baking Tech in Chicago from March 1st to the 3rd. We have reached out to all of you um, as leaders in the industry, whether you're speakers, committee members, or even exhibitors planning to attend Baking Tech. And we are hoping that you will be able to help us kick off um, this new networking feature that we're introducing called Brain Date. It's a great way to meet new people, um, to get together with those who have like-minded interests and even to socialize. So with that, I am gonna turn it over to our partner, E180 and Drew, and I will let you go from there, Drew. Thank you. Thanks, Amanda. And hi, everybody. Welcome. Uh, my name is Drew. I am uh, the head of experience with E180 and Brain Date, and I am thrilled to be partnering with Amanda and the entire society to put together this Brain Date activation at Baking Tech 2022. Um, today, we are here to walk you through the platform, how to set up a topic, and how to engage with booking um, brain dates throughout the event. Um, thank you all for showing up. Thank you for being here. If you have any questions throughout, please feel free to use the chat and I'll address that toward the end. I might ask Amy to keep her eye on there for me while I'll be sharing my screen in case anything's coming up. Um, the intention today is to make sure all of you feel confident engaging with the Brain Aid platform. And hopefully by the end of this 30 minute call, you actually post your first topic. So um, thank you to some of you folks who have already posted topics on the Brain Aid platform. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. I will also very quickly drop a link in the chat for you so you can uh, follow along at home if you're here live and start to see the platform itself. So their link is now live in the chat for you. And I will go on over to share my screen. And this is what it looks like. So when you first log into the platform, you'll be prompted or you'll be welcomed by the sponsors and the event logos. And uh, after a few seconds, you will be then brought into the first login page. Once you're here, you're going to click get started and you will enter the activation code baking tech with a capital B and a capital T followed by 22. It is case sensitive. So double check that and hit next. After you hit next, you will then be prompted to enter your email that you've registered for Baking Tech with. I'm going to set up through my test account here. Oh, it's telling me. Uh oh, it's telling me. I'm going to sign up with my personal then. Let's see. Hopefully this works. I've already tested it. Let's go in with a brand new one. There we go. You'll then be prompted to put in your password. So this is where you set your password. I highly recommend that you save it in your device. If at any point uh, you lose it, there is an option to reset your password. Don't stress too much about it. I suggest making it something simple uh, that you can easily remember. And there we go. This one has mine saved. It should be. I apologize for that. Why is this not letting me go? Hmm. I apologize. Is it because you chose a different account that it wants a different account? Yeah, I think it's because I chose a different. Let me see if I can get in here this way. I'm sorry, folks. Um, let me put in. There you go. We'll be creating a password this time. Too short, must be eight characters. You'll then be prompted to enter your first and last name. And then at this point, you'll have the opportunity to add a photo, 
if you don't have a photo on hand right now, don't stress too much about it. You can always do that later. Hit maybe later. Now, this is the page where we have a few important things to go through. First off, we highly recommend that you note, you agree to receive notifications from the Brain Day platform. We do not spam you on any mailing list or anything like that. These notifications are there to ensure you are notified when someone is trying to book a brain date with you or has sent you an invitation to join one of their brain dates. Uh, you will receive these in your email and you can switch it to receive it via SMS if that's your preference. So I highly recommend that you do take a moment to log in and um, set up your notifications. The profile section is for you to appear in the people searchability. So anyone who uh, creates a topic on Brain Date automatically appears in the people section. But if you haven't posted a topic and you want to be searchable, make sure you're clicking here. Hopefully all of y'all will post a topic and you'll automatically be searchable. You can at any point <laughs> also bless you remove yourself from that um, space. What is required that you uh, agree to the privacy concerns as per GDPR compliance. If you wanna read more in detail about what those are, you can click on either of those links there. And then last, but certainly not least, it's important here to select if you will be attending virtually or in person. Um, please select where you'll be as this will dictate what brain dates you will be able to book and exchange uh, with. Just a note there, anyone who is in person will be able to host virtual brain dates, but people who are attending virtually will not be able to book any on-site brain dates for obvious reasons. Once you've chosen that, go ahead and click next, and you'll be brought into what we call the market. So the market is where topics are populated. BrainDate is a peer-to-peer -peer learning platform designed to help, like as Amanda said, like-minded folks meet around topics that mean something to them, that inspire them, or that move them. So in order to schedule a BrainDate, you first have to create a topic, which is why we're here today. So thank you to the folks who have already taken some time to go in and populate some topics. You can see them here. This is a feed that builds over time. We have two formats of conversations that you can host. And in order to create a topic, you simply click here, hit new topic, and you'll have the opportunity to either create a one-on-one -on -one topic card or a group brain date. You'll see here that one-on-ones are 30 minutes and that groups are 45. The difference between one-on-one -on -one and groups is that one-on-ones can be created around a topic and are not set at a specific time. Groups, when you create a group, you have to set a specific time for that group to meet around. So let's go ahead and I'll create a test group topic. You'll see here that we have different kinds of conversation formats that can help you formulate what kind of topic you're going for. I'm gonna choose, ask me anything. Uh, let's pretend I'm an expert gluten-free baker, gluten-free, baking in 2022 and beyond. Ask me anything. You have a character limit of 95 characters for your topic header, but you can add additional information under what inspired this topic. Uh, my child is gluten intolerant and I became an expert. <laughs> If you have typos, you can always go in and edit them later. So don't worry too much about that. Every topic does, however, require at least one keyword. Now, you can put in multiple keywords. You just have to separate them by a comma. And then you'll hit next. At this point, you'll be prompted to pick a time from the available schedule within which you can host on-site group brain dates. So I'm gonna host this on Wednesday at 11.30 p.m. Please note, actually, I should go back and highlight this. The Brain Date Lounge opens at 7.30 on-site and closes at 6.30 on site. Because of COVID measures and because there's limited space within the Brain Date Lounge, there's a buffer between every window. 
So you'll have to book on the half hour so that there's time to disinfect the stations and make sure that there's not too much overlap happening as people are passing on the way in and way out of the lounge. So you'll see that you can only book on the half hour for on site. So let's go ahead and set that up. And then the time has been selected. I go post. Now, at this point, you'll be also given the opportunity to share your topic within your social media. So you, we have a feature called social share on that directly links to your LinkedIn or your Twitter. So if you'd like to do that, you can hit view topic and it'll prompt you into sharing it within your platforms. For the purposes of this demonstration, I won't do that today. I'm going to hit no thanks. Also good to note is that you can at any point once created the topic, you'll also be able to share it to your social media at a later date. So here you can see it's been created. Now I'm going to sync to my calendar. I highly recommend that you take an opportunity to sync to either your Google or Microsoft Suite calendar 365 so that any brain dates that you're scheduling will show up in your regular calendar so you won't miss them, whether they're on site or virtual. Once you've done that, you'll hit go ahead and save. For the purposes of this demo, I won't fully go through that. One other thing I do want to show you is your settings here. As you're setting up your account, you have the ability, and this is maybe perhaps more important for virtual attendees than on site, is to change the time zone in which you are located. So you'll be able to log in here and select a drop down to switch your time zone and then hit save changes. Again, here within your profile, you can complete your profile by clicking in, adding your job title, adding your company name. And we always like to encourage specifically ambassadors, but all participants to add a little bit more information about who you are, uh, give a little bit more personality to your profile so that people can get a sense of, of who they're gonna be showing up to have a conversation with even before you meet one another. Additionally, you can link to your LinkedIn, your Twitter, your Facebook, or your website. And all, as always, be sure to save your changes. Now, one thing we wanted to highlight for you folks, especially those of you who are on site, is that the team would love to allow you to use the BrainDate platform to sync up, not necessarily to have a meeting in the BrainDate lounge on site, which is a specific room that is going to be holding your brain dates, but you can also use the BrainDate platform to socialize. Let's say schedule a dinner date with someone, or if you're a runner and you'd like to go for a run at 7.30 on Wednesday morning and bring someone along with you, you can schedule a one-on-one a one -on -one or a group brain date. Let's say I love to run. I'm just going to show you because you'll have to use a special keyword for this to show up as such. So once you're created this, the keyword that you will need to put in for this to appear as a socializing brain date rather than an a seated or more relaxed uh, brain date would be to add the keyword socialize. I'm gonna add it twice, just in case. There we go. And I'll say no thanks. You can see here that this is now being highlighted as a socialize and connect topic, which means it's not necessarily going to be a sit down face to face traditional networking experience. It'll be something like a dinner date or so on and so forth. So for those of you that have other things you'd like to do, whether it's outside of the hotel or somewhere else, just make sure that you use the keyword socialize and it'll appear as such. That takes me through the topic creation. Now, I did want to highlight for you the few points where you can see while you're navigating. So here you can see that Amy has created a topic on site. It says very clearly that this is on site in person on Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. When the time for your brain date comes, simply present yourself to the brain date lounge. Myself and two of my colleagues will be there to greet you and help you find your seat uh, and to meet up with the other folks that are there. Same thing goes for one-on-one -on -one meetings. If you found a topic here that you'd like to join and it's a one-on-one -on -one and not a group, 
you get the opportunity to schedule a brain date. So say I land on Matt's topic and I'd love to meet him. I would click here, schedule a brain date, and then propose three potential times that work with my schedule. And Matt will receive a notification and he'll be able to choose from one of those three times or decline and propose alternative times in response to your proposal. So as an ambassador, you will likely, if you've created a one-on-one -on -one topic, receive some invitations that you'll be able to fit into your schedule as works for you. Other things to note is that you can search the platform for keywords or topics. If I search for gluten, my topic on gluten-free baking shows up right there. If you want to search for specific uh, socialized uh, topics, you click here, get social, and it'll only show you what is going on in terms of socializing. We also do want to highlight that there are some gift cards provided for the top brain daters at the uh, event this year. So for the top, for the top brain daters, and let's define that, those who create the most topics and those who attend the most topics, each from those categories will receive a prize. And that really sums up my demo for today. I'm more than happy now to answer any questions that you might have. So let me just check in the chat if there's anything that's come up in the chat. I realized I went through that pretty quickly. So we do have 10 minutes left. If you don't have questions, I would love for you to just take a moment and think about what is most inspiring you within your professional or personal life right now. And what is it that you'd like to offer your community at Baking Tech this year? Are you an expert in an area? Do you have a product or a solution that you think other folks might find useful or inspiring? Perhaps creating a topic around one of those points will be a, a really easy way to start a conversation. At Braindate, we believe that conversations can change your life and putting yourself out there bravely is the first step in starting to create more meaningful and nourishing relationships. So thank you for being here. I see there's some questions now coming in to the chat. So let me check out here. Hi, Cam, thanks for your question. So perhaps Tani or Amanda can talk about the Brain Date space. It is a set room on the second floor that's called the Brain Date Lounge. And we will have, um, I can't remember off the top of my head, I believe we're going to have six group tables as well as eight to 10 one-on-one -on -one spaces. But in terms of the square footage, Tani or Amanda will have a clearer answer there. Can the brain date be switched from someone to a group? So great question, uh, Rod. Once a topic is created, it is set as such. If you're curious about being able to meet one-on-one -on -one or in a group, I highly suggest, and this goes for all ambassadors, is to put yourself out there as a one-on-one -on -one topic, perhaps something you're an expert in or something you're looking to learn. And then for your group topic, create a group topic that's around a solution you might be looking to solve or a conversation that you just love to have uh, multiple perspectives on. Uh, that way, people can either book in with you at your group, or if that time doesn't work for them, they'll be able to coordinate with you and schedule a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I did skim over one. Cindy asked, if I'm scheduling a socialized dinner, does everyone still meet at the Brain Date Lounge? Good point. So Cindy, great question. Once someone has joined your group, they will then be brought in to a chat. You will be able to chat with them if they've joined your group and you can tell them, you know, let's meet at this cocktail bar half an hour before our dinner reservation and go from there. Um, if anyone does present themselves at the Brain Date Lounge, we will be able to look within and see where you're meeting. Um, so we can set that up for you. If there's any information you want us to have at the Brain Date Lounge, just in case you don't get a response to your chat within Brain Date, just meet us at the lounge. We'll take note and we'll share that information with anyone that shows up on site. And Drew, just to mm -hmm. jump in, I mean, it's also, 
you could use the brain date lounge as the meeting spot, right? Absolutely. If it's, then, a, it's in a very centralized place and a really easy place to meet. So I recommend, unless people know Chicago very well, that's probably the best place to link up and then you can go from there. So Jorge, thank you for your question. It will work as an invite tool for those that will be in person and full features for the remote ones, correct? Yes, that is correct. For anyone that is attending virtually, all of your brain dates will happen within the platform as a video conference. Um, we do have live VLCs who will be available via chat to help you from your computer if you have any questions about getting connected with your camera or your audio. Um, so there are real humans on the other side of our chat that will be there to be responsive to your unique needs. Um, so yes, absolutely. The Brain Date Lounge is where it happens in person and the platform is where it happens online. Okay, but, uh, but also that could be a hybrid scheme as well. Yes, so if you are attending on site, you will be able to have and schedule a virtual brain date with someone who is not on site. So you can take that from the Brain Date Lounge if you'd like, or even from your hotel room or somewhere else, as long as you have your device, whether it's your cellular device or your desktop computer, it will work for you. Great. Thanks for your question. Uh, Alejandro, can I use the platform to invite someone directly to my event? Do they have to have a brain date account set up? In order for participants to uh, brain date with you, they will need a brain date account. So if you are planning to share this, let's say to your social media, you will, and someone clicks on it and wants to join you, they will have to create a brand date account in order to send you an invitation or to join your group. Are there any other questions or things that I can help you with? I'm going to refresh and see if we have any fresh topics in the market. I would be so happy if I saw at least three topics at the top of this page before we end in five minutes. And remember, you can edit it after. So don't stress too much. This platform is not available to all participants for another week or so. So you have time to set up and adapt your schedule. One thing I did want to highlight is that once someone, so for group brain dates, you do schedule them at a set time, which can be changed at any point as long as no one has already agreed to meet you at the previous time. So as soon as one person joins your group brain date, that time is set in stone and you'll have to either cancel, cancel your brain date and chat with them in, within brain date saying, you know what, something came up, I'm gonna have to move this to Thursday at 1.30 instead, please join me there. You'll, you can delete it and then you can even send them the direct URL to sign up for your new topic. If you're looking to share a URL with someone, you simply click on your topic here and this will be a direct URL that you can send an invitation to someone with either in an email or within the Brain Date chat itself. Any other questions for me while we're here? You're all are in, hopefully, in topic creation mode. Drew, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Could I get from you um, either this PowerPoint deck or, or a quick um, instruction sheet that I can send out to the training committee since um, Rod's the only one who's here in this meeting and we've got some, we have some lively personalities on the training committee that I would love to see engage in this. So if I could send them something, that would be fantastic. Amazing, you bet. What I'll do is I'll follow up uh, from today's call with this recording and a few additional resources for you to share with anyone else who you'd like to, to get clear instructions toward for how to use this platform. Are there any restrictions on content? Can we showcase our products and services in the meetings? That Amanda I, or Amy, I'll leave to you. I don't believe there are restrictions. I feel so, like, go you, for it. You are correct, Drew. There are no restrictions for the brain date. This is Another avenue, as I mentioned at the beginning, for networking. Um, so particularly for our exhibitors, we want you to take this opportunity to be able to showcase outside of the marketplace, you know, 
your products, your services, maybe there is a industry hot button topic that you think your product could help with. Um, so you can post a topic to that um, to that point, and then anybody who is interested, who is looking for help, who you know wants to join you, will have that opportunity. And also, like Drew mentioned, you can also invite others who are already signed into the Brain Date platform. Maybe there's somebody in the Brain Date attendee list that you think would really benefit from this event, um, your Brain Date, and you can reach out to them. Does that sound about right, Drew? That sounds perfect. Yeah. Put anything out there that you want to talk about, something that you're passionate about, something that you're an expert in, or something that you're looking to learn about, and, and be proactive in reaching out and engaging the folks that you want to meet with. So if you already know that there's certain people that you'd like to connect with while on site, Braindate is the way to make that happen. Use your direct links, use your topic cards, and, and make it happen. Any other questions? We've got two minutes left. I'm going to refresh and see if there's any fresh topics at the top. I do want to just kind of second what Drew just said. You know, we really want this to be a tool for you to increase your professional education and networking circle, but also have fun. You know, if there is a hobby that you have something personal that you're very passionate about, I know ASB's executive director, Kent Van Amberg, is an avid fly fisher. And he did mention, I, I haven't had a chance to go fully through the marketplace, but he did mention he was gonna do a brain date. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Drew. So, you know, don't hesitate to throw something more personal out there. That is how you make connections and you find out about other interests um, professionally or personally. Absolutely. And we have one more question in the chat from Rod about, will I have a record of the attendees in my brain dates for a follow-up? So yes, within your brain date account, underneath your brain dates, you'll be able to go in and see anyone who you have had a brain date with and be able to click through to their profile, as well as if you're attending virtually, you'll be able to chat with them beyond um, the event itself or sorry, beyond the brain date itself within the event and exchange contact information. So absolutely, you will have a list of those people um, that you can remain in contact with. So if there are no more questions, I, if you have even five more minutes to spend on the platform and to put up your first one-on-one -on -one or your group topic, um, the first part is the hardest. It's like tearing off a Band-Aid. Um, but if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out via email to Amanda, Amy, and I will be of assistance to them via that way. We also do have a email that you can write into directly on the platform and we respond within 24 hours uh, during the business week. Um, so if you have any questions about the platform from here on out, you can also use that as a resource. Okay, well, thank, thank you, you so, much, so Drew. much, Drew. Thank you, Drew, this is really fantastic. My total pleasure, so nice to see some new faces here and I look forward to meeting some of y'all in Chicago. Great job. Wonderful. Thank Thanks so Thank much. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Great to see you.